Whoa, what's good with y'all? I'm back at it again, Chef Wisdom Shabazz. This time I'm coming with grilled burgers and crock pot peach cobbler. It's real simple, real easy to do. Look how good that peach cobbler look. Man, that cobbler was rolling. Them kids tore that cobbler up. You hear me? Let's get right into it. First off, what I do is I start off with two cans of a store bought peach filling, right? And two cans of peach filling. Put them in your crock pot. Alright? Next, you're going to see me add some cinnamon to it. Then I'm going to add like a teaspoon of vanilla. I said a teaspoon of vanilla. Right? I'm about to add a cup of granulated white sugar. Right? And I'm about to mix that up real well. Get that going. Just mix it up real well. Nice, simple, easy to do. Now I'm coming with the classic white cake mix. I'm going to distribute that all nice and evenly across on top of those peaches, right? Now I'm going to come with one stick of butter. I'm going to take this butter, I'm going to chop it up and distribute that evenly so it'll melt real evenly across the um, the cake mix so you get a nice solid crust to it. Make your crust real good and buttery and stuff like that. Check it out. Put your crock pot on high and that's it. Now let's go to the burgers. You see me, I'm cutting up the seasoning. I'm about to use the processor this time because I need this seasoning to be really, really fine because it's going inside of my burgers. That's why I'm using my food processor. So I get the seasoning processed up, put them down some more, you know, process them a little bit more. I ain't gonna see me put them in my red bowl, my mixing bowl. Get all the seasoning out the processor, put it in the bowl. Now I come with my ground meat. I believe this ground meat is a, uh, 78-23 ratio, 78-22 ratio, but here's my secret ingredient to anything I do with ground beef and it's oatmeal. Two cups of oatmeal to this ground beef, no breadcrumbs, oatmeal, trust me on this, oatmeal. Two eggs, right, gotta get your eggs in there. My crushed black pepper, you know I'm always crushing black pepper. Matter of fact, in my future videos you're going to see I bought a little machine to crush the pepper for me. I don't have to do it by hand anymore. I got a little high tech on it. Alright, crushed black pepper. Alright. Here go my onion powder. Here go my garlic powder. Alright. A little parsley flakes. A little dry parsley flakes never hurt nothing. Come with a little salt. And I get to mixing that up. Now my goal is to make out of this, uh, I think it's like three pounds of ground meat. I'm trying to get ten nice sized burgers out of this. So it's gonna be pretty good. So I got ten burgers out of that. I'm gonna make big meatballs because I'm gonna grill these burgers, but my process of grilling these burgers, as you will see, is I put it on a griddle to, to, to get that hard sear and that hard crust on each side of the burger. Man, if you rolling, dude, I'm telling you, y'all got to try this. And you're gonna see how I have it all set up in a second. All right, now that's my grill, and I have a griddle on there, as you can see. So I'm gonna start off with a stick of butter on the griddle. Let that melt down. Then, you're gonna see I flip the burgers over. See that whole crust they got on them? Now I come with the press. I got a little burger press thing. I just put the little one on and press them down. That's a wrap. Come back with the barbecue sauce. But this one I didn't make my own barbecue sauce. I used that KC Masterpiece Thick Kettle Sweet uh, Honey Barbecue Sauce. As you can see, I got my wife little veg vegetarian burgers down there at the bottom. Put my buns on there. Now, I didn't make homemade onion rings like I usually do, but the next best thing is Nathan onion rings. These onion rings off the chain. Y'all, you got to go mess with these onion rings. They good. Put them in my little pot. Fry up the onion rings right quick. And boom. There you have it. Big juicy burger, seared on both sides, hard crust, onion rings, and crock pot piece cobbler. Trust me, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. Holler at me later.